Hello, before I show you how to make the best zucchini cake you have ever tasted, I wanna thank Care Of for sponsoring today's video. I started taking Care Of after my kids told me about it. Care Of is super transparent about their research and their sourcing of every product. The thing I like about Care Of is you take this five minute quiz online and they ask you a bunch of questions and it's like having a one-on-one -on -one consultation with the nutritionist and then you have a tailored approach to your unique health needs and then the order is shipped straight to your door. My health goals are to maintain a healthy heart, support stronger bones, healthier hair and nails, and a healthier urinary tract. Care of sent me in these easy to use packets, vitamin D, because vitamin D is essential to maintain healthy bones, vegetarian collagen, which supports healthy hair and nails, the fish oils for my heart, and cranberry, the sauce, for my urinary tract. Without taking the test, I don't think I would have ever figured out on my own to take cranberry. I didn't know there was a compound in cranberries that helps prevent bacteria from sticking to the urinary tract. The quiz to see what vitamins and supplements Care Of recommends for you and get 50% off your first order with my promo code GRIFFITHS50. Do you or any of your neighbors have a zucchini plant? Because if you do, you are not gonna wanna miss today's video. I am going to show you how to make the best chocolate zucchini cake you have ever had in your life. And I am telling you right now, if you do not wanna gain five pounds, then you better not make it. Because, well, that's making three. I have made three zucchini cakes and I love them and we just, you would think we'd have a little piece. No, we eat the whole flipping cake. So just know if you're gonna make this cake, you're gonna eat it all and you are gonna gain five pounds this month. I'm going to start by preparing two cups of zucchini. I'm going to wash it and cut the outside, or peel the outside edges off and then I'm going to grate it until I get two cups of shredded zucchini. I should tell you that this recipe came from my neighbor and my neighbor is the one that's grown the zucchini for everybody. I've had it for a couple years. I wish it was in the Griffiths cookbook, but it's not, I'm sorry. But I will show it to you right here. I usually like to show you my recipe cards or in the recipe book. I hope that helps you to be able to maybe stop the video right there and write down what you need. Now that we've got our zucchini shredded, let's get started. The recipe calls for two cups of sugar, a fourth of a cup of cocoa powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two and a half cups of flour, and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. I'm just going to mix that together. Now that we've got our dry ingredients mixed together, I'm going to go ahead and add the wet ingredients, which are three eggs, three teaspoons of vanilla, two cups of grated zucchini, I have a half a cup of milk here, I know it doesn't look like a half a cup of milk, but it's a half a cup of milk in there. I have people a lot of times tell me, you didn't add this, you didn't add a half a cup or whatever, and I'm like, yeah it was, it probably just was in a different cup. And a cup of oil. Oil. 
You know, I don't even think you need to use the beaters for this. Um, it's kind of like a brownie. You don't really need the mixers. But I'm going to go ahead and beat it with a hand mixer for just a minute. You're thinking the same thing I am, huh? Too bad the grandkids aren't here. I do this every single time. I forget to preheat my oven. So get your oven preheated 350 degrees and when it comes to 350 degrees, put your cake in, cook it for 35 to 40 minutes. I want to show you my cake before I frost it and I think I took it out of the oven just a tiny bit early. I do that all the time. I did check it with a toothpick and it came out clean but I just think I took it out just a little bit early and this is a really really moist cake so I probably could have left it in there another three or four minutes. It also calls for a fourth of a cup of butter and a full cube here is a half a cup so I've used part of that cube that's about of a fourth of a cup and of course we need to put some vanilla in it about a teaspoon shows up just in time to help me frost the cake. And I told you, I think that I took the cake out just a minute too soon, but it's going to be just fine. Nothing that little bit of icing won't take care That's of or right. hide. Oh, this cream cheese. A little cream cheese frosting with a little cake. Mm-hmm. I've, I've never been known for being the best cake froster decorator though. I just slap it on there. My dad always said, we haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> we haven't had dinner yet. But my dad always said, the best time to eat pie, or the best time to eat cake, is when you're hungry. So I think we ought to have a piece of cake, break it open, show you what the inside looks like, and then we'll eat our dinner. Okay, I'm gonna let my taster do it. Maybe I'll save mine till after dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, I'm eating it now. Okay, I'm hungry. okay. Hmm. It's hard to believe that out of a zucchini came this here. <laughs> you would, you, would you tell me if it was bad? You wouldn't tell oh, me yeah, if it was bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, 
No. You tell me if it tasted like dirt. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, this is really, really good. It's good. moist, and it's. It's really. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, put that in your recipe book. It's a keeper. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye.